Hey y'all. So I just got out of work. I'm really, 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 really exhausted. I'm not going to lie, but I got a new deck. So I wanted to pop on here and do a mini read. Let's do it. Let's do it y'all. Isn't it gorgeous? Look how pretty. Oh my God. It was a steal too. Like, honestly, because I, I got it at my job and I got a discount on it. So, oh, oh, you guys, when I tell you, look. Oh my God. Wait. So here's the book. Oh, I'm a little bit obsessed. All right, I'm a lot of bit obsessed. Why is my hair so weird? You know what? See, this is what happens to curls when it rains. It does this. So, <laughs> look. Hold on a second. Oh, you guys, my future husband better love me with all this. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, I'm going to do a short collective reading for a short love. I can't even talk, I'm so tired. I'm going to do a short love collective <laughs> reading. A short collective love reading. Um... Let me do some, let me sound cleanse with my little bell. Hold on. Okay. So this is going to be really, really short. I just had to, I already pulled some cards from my beloved. You guys, I almost shot a booger out of my nose. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't. I'm sorry. I have... I have no idea what is going on. I get bullet and I'm tired. It has been a long day. Look at my curls. They're so crazy right now. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, hold on. Because it's like a, a supermodel hair. <laughs> All right, what does the collective need to know? I already shuffled. My charger is in the way. I have my big old, big, big ass cup of coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Look at them cheekbones, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm in some type of mood today. Okay. All right. What do we got? Thank you for allowing me to be the Tears channel for source messages. Please welcome Archangel Michael into the space to protect our space and it's funny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's go. <clears throat> Three cards, please. Quick read. 316 on the camera. Alright, none of these cards are going to fly out because they're too big. So, ah, I'm pulling my hair again. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to trust my intuition. What do we need to know? All right, that one almost flew out. We have Whispers of Spring. And I don't know these cards yet, so we're going to have to read them from the book until <clears throat> I get to know them. Something about spring, though, you guys. I just heard, like, a renewal, a renewal of love, a renewal of vows, maybe. This also could be, like, for same-sex Twin flame females because there's two females on there. So that might resonate with someone. I have 55 thinking of you. Ooh, I can feel it too. They are thinking of you. They're all up in their feels. It feels like they're moving at a snail's pace though. Look at the snail. It's going so slow. They're thinking about you heavy though. They're doing things. To themselves. I didn't say that. I said nothing. Oh, I don't know what's getting into me today. All right, we have the brat. I have no idea what that means. All right, let's read them. Let's see if I get any intuitive hits on this one. Um, somebody likes your attitude. 
I mean, they might think you're like sassy, but they like it. If that makes sense. Oof. Oof, y'all. Okay. So 51, Whispers of Spring. It's number six. So, you know, right now you're, you guys are experiencing this really beautiful spiritual connection to God, to Source, to Gaia, to yourself. Thinking of you, 55, that is um, change, right? Five represents change. So, like, this is some kind of spiritual change. We have the blue moon coming up. <laughs> Can't stop fucking with my hair. We have the blue moon coming up, the super blue moon. It is tonight and tomorrow. So, I am in Michigan, United States, and Sunday. It is Sunday at... 8.50 p.m. All right. This is going to be y'all's pajama predictions, okay? Because I don't have my pajamas on, but normally I do like the pajama predictions where, you know, I'm going to start doing those. We're like, I'm in my pajamas and, you know, we sip our tea, our sleepy tea, and I'm going to be in my pajamas and I'm going to give you your pajama predictions and you can snuggle in with your girl bunny and I'll read some cards for you before you go to bed. <laughs> Maybe sing you a lullaby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so dumb. All right. Um, I mean, I'm not, but I'm just, I'm in a funny mood today. I don't know why. Okay. So, 51, growth. Oh, see, I said you guys were going through some spiritual growth. In spring, the world comes alive again with a rebirth of color, sensation, and sunlight. Not even the spring rains can keep our spirits dampened. All right. It is a favorite time for the fairy folk. There's so much for them to do. It's a time when they're busy helping nurture new plants and young creatures. Spring is about growth. Visualize yourself on a bright spring day. Just breathe in deeply of all the fresh smells. Feel how clean the air is and how crisp. With just the right touch of warmth, smell the new blossoms that are blooming all around you. Feel the freedom of going outside without a jacket or shoes if you choose. Ooh, I love to go outside without shoes. It'd be grounding, y'all. Feel the freedom of going outside without a jacket. Oh, we already read that. In spring, there is a sense that anything is possible. There is no shortage of hope. Oof. In spring, why do I keep reading the same thing? You can tell I'm tired. Um, bring spring into your life whenever you need it. If you have chosen this card, it's a good omen of hope and positive growth. What may have been stagnant now takes on fresh momentum. Ooh, nobody messages me until I'm um, recording. You are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Life is new and abundant and you are ready to start again. Have confidence in yourself and your destiny. You are on the right track. At this time, you may be starting a new project, job, or study. Enjoy the journey. And then they give you a little chant. It says, I breathe the essence of spring into my body. I am energized and made ready for the next step of my journey. I am filled with hope and I trust in my good. All is right in my world. So be it. And then it says, dig in the dirt today. Hey, get dirty. Get dirty, biatches. Thinking of you, 55, 55. All right, where, where, oh, look at it. She got a little side booby showing, y'all. Thinking of you. Have you ever been thinking, oh, it says keyword synchronicity. Oh, I told you thinking of you. Have you ever been thinking of someone just as the phone rings only to find that they are the one calling you? Life presents many such examples of synchronicity to us. There is no such thing as coincidence. Don't mind the mess behind me. We don't we don't have the bed set up. We going to move soon. Everything happens for a reason and synchronicity happens more often when we are strongly grounded within ourselves. When well grounded, we have a strong connection to everything in our universe. These connections help to put us in the right place at the right time. Our intuition is heightened and things fall into place so much easier. We flow with the universal life force instead of fighting it. Therefore, everything comes to us naturally and more easily. 
Life is much more enjoyable and efficient to work on bringing. I need some chips to kill. Work on bringing more synchronicity into your life. If life feels frantic, stop, breathe, and center yourself. Yes. Find the place of peace within. I do this every day. Ask for help from the elementals and the angels too. They know about peace and balance. Prince of Feather, we should stay together. That song's been in my head all day. Um, they know about peace and balance. This allows you, I just spit in my book. This allows you to make, I'm all over the place today. Make better choices of your words and your actions. The more you practice this balance, the more synchronicity has a chance to work in your life to put you exactly where you need to be at the perfect divine time. Ooh, we I love it. Sense the rhythm of the earth and synchronize your breathing to it. The earth's pulse is your pulse. The earth's breath is your breath. All is one. Oh, I love that. I've been getting that synchronicity lately. All is one, right? Um, you move smoothly on your life's journey. Chant. Created in the light. Grounded in the stone. I ask synchronicity here to be shown. I call on the powers of timing and place. I bring in the balance of divine grace. So be it. Let someone know you are thinking about them today. That's what it says. Let someone know you are thinking of them too. Day. Let somebody know they're on your mind. You were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. All right, so we have the brat. Oh my god, I cannot take my hair when it rains. You guys, I can't. It makes me so self conscious because it gets so fluffy. Even all the hair product and the anti-frizz. All right, 52. Um, keyword, spoiled. If this card came up for you, ask yourself, am I just a tiny bit spoiled? Yes. Do you tend to put your desires above those of others? No. Do you neglect the feeling of others or treat them rudely? No. <laughs> Do you stop your feet and slam doors and yell loudly to get your way? Is your mind focused on accumulating material goods? Do you respect others and do you respect yourself? Look deep into your character and see what it is that you can change about yourself. The brat is never really happy, no matter how much she has or how often she gets her way. Ooh, she's nasty. True happiness comes from loving and respecting yourself. This then allows you to love and respect others. Absolutely, guys. Happiness does not come from material objects, although there's nothing wrong with acquiring and enjoying them. It is okay to have them, but do not place them above all else. We are meant to use our power to enhance our lives in ways that demonstrate spirit's abundance. This comes from a place of balance. Happiness has to come from within. Open up to it and allow it to blossom within you. It's not too late. Be gentle with yourself and with others. Be patient. Grow up and embrace a divinely guided adulthood. Mom, What's up, buddy? How long the are we brat... going to be kind of at Grandpa's? How long are we going to be at Grandpa's? Yeah. Um, For three days? We're going to go visit? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, the brat is just a bit misguided. Show her the path and she will follow it. Inside every brat is a wondrous vibrant being. I love that. Okay, chance. I release the old selfish me and step into my divine pattern of being. I live in harmony. I embrace life and my good. I embrace my divine expression. I receive and accept guidance on my true Mom, path. I, was in love for two days. I am open to my good so be it. Spoil yourself like today. No, we're going for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because Wednesday I have to work in Lansing. So it doesn't make sense to drive back. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. I love you so fiercely. If you would like to book a reading with me, um, click in the description box below on the milkshake link. 
um, please like and subscribe if you feel so guided. It really helps my channel. And I am busting my butt for y'all. I am tired. I am tired. But I am present. And I am here. And I love you.